Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to um, access your Orange or EE Brightbox using Telnet. Um, I'm using Linux Mint, which is basically Ubuntu Linux, but um, if you don't know how to access, um, excuse me, focusing the camera, don't know how to access uh, Telnet, you'll need to do some research on that. Uh, if you're using Windows, the best bit of software to use is called Putty. I'll show you a link to that. Um, if you go to Google, Search for Putty. It's called www.shiark.greenend.org.uk, um, and that address there. Just Google Putty, and you'll find it. And it's the first link. Uh, download Putty. It's the first one there. Putty.exe. Okay. So that's the Windows users. For Linux, um, it's all built in for us. So let me show you how to do it. This is a bright box, an EE bright box, as I showed you, which has been reset to factory settings. So it's as if it came out of the box brand new. Okay, so what you need to do is this. Turn it on. And give it about a minute to boot up. Um, while we're doing that, I'll explain a few things to you about my networking. Um, I'm actually connected to the wired network. Um, I need to turn it off because I've got another router on the network, which is 192.168.1.1. If there's two on the same network, there'll be a conflict. So I'm connecting via wireless, via a dongle to my uh, bright box. Turn my wireless on. In a second, the bright box's default key, which in my case is uh, the network, sorry, which in my case is. Uh, oops, hang on a second. That top one there, it says EE bright box 7RK 5ED. You don't see my details, what do you do? Okay, so once that network turns up in my list, I'll connect to it and get hacking. I'm going to turn wireless off and on again to get to recognise it. Okay. In a second, see my network, my, my computer will automatically connect to this bright box here because it's it's, in it, it's uh, connected before, so it's remembered the credentials. Um, you'll probably be connecting via Ethernet cable. Um, by Wi-Fi, you can connect; it doesn't make any difference, but you'll probably be connecting via Ethernet, so anyway. Is it going to connect or not? There we go. It's now connected. Once this thing lights up down here. Right, I'm now connected. So what I do now, open the terminal window. Keep that over there. Make it a bit bigger for you so you can see it. What I do now, I open up uh, Google Chrome or whichever browser you want to use. Um, make sure my terminal's on top. Always on top. And my video is there. Always on top too. So what I do now, I go to 192.168.1.1. Actually, move this across a bit. I log in. You have to log in first. That's very important. So these are my defaults you see here. Okay, now go to the address bar and you go to 192.168.1.1 forward slash uniform 132. Oh, hang on a second, we'll do that again. A bit fast, wasn't it? Uniform 132 x ray Zulu Papa 32AAI.htm. I'll put that in the video notes anyway. I'll go to that. A button will pop up saying Manufactory Default. Uh, obviously lost in translation somewhere. So I click on there. Warning, any changes you've made to your router will be lost. You need to wait about five minutes before you re re reconnect to the internet, etc. etc. OK. Now applying the changes. So what I do, I wait for about a minute. I mean, it's not necessary to wait any longer. Uh, on the screen forums it says wait four minutes, but I think that's a bit excessive. You don't need to wait four minutes for the router. I mean, it's a pretty quick bit of kit. Um, so, um, yeah, I'll just, you know, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to restart it now. I'm going to power it off. You're going to need to do a hard reset. Turn it off at the back. Uh, the power switch is next to the power jack, just there at the back where the power lead goes in. Turn it off. Uh, five seconds. Back on again. And now reboot in manufactory default mode. 
I think they made the manufacturing default mode. But anyway, we'll forgive them a bit of uh, lost translation, eh? It's a good little router. So, um, what will happen? When this restarts in the manufacturing mode, the secure key, which is on your Brightbox card and underneath the Brightbox, which uh, the, the random key which comes with it, will not be applicable uh, if you're connecting via wireless. You're basically, if you're connecting via wireless um, and you've got into manufacturing default mode, you'll have a wireless network appear, which is an open network called WLAN, Whiskey uh, Lima Alpha November, wireless LAN. See, this thing pops up, get rid of that. Okay, so now you'll see a network called, in a second, let me turn my wireless off and on again to make, make sure it sees it. There you go, WLAN, it's connected straight away because it's connected before. Uh, WLAN, that's the um, wireless network it goes into um, when you've gone to manufacturing mode. Now, you could log in using admin and password. Oops, excuse me. P A S S W O R D. Um, yeah, you can log in using that. And you'll see now all the um, stuff that was there before um, information, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> has all changed. Uh, Wallace Network name, Wallace LAN 1, is WLAN, as I said, and there's no security. This is the temporary manufacturing default mode. So what you want to do, you want to want to, you don't need this web UI at all now, um, for the moment. You want to log into it by Telnet. Um, so on Windows, you use Putty or another Telnet client on uh, Ubuntu or Mac or Linux. You use Telnet. So I do Telnet 192.168.1.1. Uh, this IP address may be different if you change your router's IP address from the default, which is this one here you will just put in the IP address which you, uh, you change it to. Press return and it says Brightbox login. The login is admin, lowercase, A-D-M-I-N. The password is password, Papa Alpha Sierra Sierra, Whiskey Oscar Romeo Delta. You now have root at the Brightbox. It's not a read write file system, it's read only, but you can do things like go to the www folder and see everything. That's the whole uh, web server there. Um, so that's it basically. Um, once you've done that, you need to reboot the router. Oh, sorry, no, I'm misinforming you. Basically, if you go to the bin folder, ls, there's a utility here called util underscore ccfg underscore cli. If I go to, if I do this, slash bin util CCFG CLI. It will then give you the syntax um, of how to um, set your broadband username to anything which is non EE or orange, um, which was the original hack which someone on the screen um, found out. Basically, this um, this here gives you the syntax of how to use that uh, that executable, which is slash bin slash util underscore ccfg underscore cli that will basically allow you to um, change the broadband username um, most of the information that you need other information is actually on the screen forum thread but thank you very much and have a great evening god bless you thank you very much goodbye guys